Well, we're always looking at the advancements in technology, and the next one is coming in books. We've seen and heard a lot about uh, e-book readers. Sony actually has a couple different models. We've got Brent DeWall from Sony here to uh, help us understand the new technology. Thanks for coming on the show. No problem. People are going to be buying books electronically now. Is there a big market for this right now? Well, it's something that's emerging. I have one of these readers. As soon as it came out, I absolutely had to have it. I read a lot of books. And what's great about the e-book reader is the instant gratification. You hear about a book on TV or your friend tells you about it, you go online, you buy it, and you have that book like five minutes later. And that's a great question. Like, are all the bestseller books available like right away, or do you have to wait a few weeks? There's a really excellent catalog. All the best sellers come out at the same time. You're usually looking at a better price than even the best discounted book price. And you get that price all the time, even on older catalog titles. Usually, you know, if you go to a store that doesn't carry that much, but, but they're quite inexpensive, you can always get a better price than that for your books. Well, let's look at, uh, we've got a couple different models here. Um, this one's uh, PRS 505. Right, that's our original model, very nice and thin. It uses the e-ink technology. Fantastic battery life because it's a uh, display called e-ink. There's actually a tiny little ball in there that makes the pixel that's filled with little tiny black balls. And as you change the page, so if we advance the page here, you can see how it'll flash. And once it does that, it's not using any power anymore to keep the display going. So the battery life is done in terms of page turns. So on a full charge, you'll be able to turn the page 7,500 times. So really, this makes like three or four weeks. I've taken this on vacation. You're away for a week, you've got 10 books, and you never have to worry about it. Well, that's the thing, because you can put multiple books on this. You know, if you wanted to take 10 books with you on vacation or when you're traveling, that's a lot of storage space where, uh, I mean, they're all on this one little unit here. That's right, and it does have uh, a memory stick slot and a secure digital SD card slot, so you can use those as well. Um, I actually have 400 books on mine, and it's a one gig memory stick. Wow. And uh, what price range are we looking for this particular one? That's about 350 and we also have our 700 model, uh, which is a little more expensive, but it improves upon it in a number of ways, one being a built-in backlight and touch screen. Well, this one seems thicker, and that's obviously because of the backlight. That's right. The, the surface on the top here is, gives you your touch screen with the e-ink underneath, and it's a little easier interface for a lot of people. You just touch it and you move around to the books. As well, you've got multiple font sizes, so if you press the magnification, you get the ability magnifying. to make everything a large print book. Oh, I see. So if you have someone whose eyesight's going, and, and this is a great way for them to get the latest bestseller without having to wait for a special edition. And this one, again, touchscreen, you can just kind of flick the pages. That's right, which is a, a really nice feature. And just hitting the home button takes you back to the uh, screen here. So uh, how many books can you hold in these? How much memory do they have in uh, Generally, it's not that much memory. It's just under a couple hundred megs. But you're looking at a book being less than a meg. So even with the built-in memory, it's hundreds of books. So this one here coming in around $500. That's right. And you think people are ready to pay $500 for a... Well, the person who needs it has got to have it. If you travel a lot or you like to read a lot of series of authors or just want to be able to have more convenience around your reading, it's something that, you know, it's a little bit of investment up front, but long term, uh, you're really going to uh, pay dividends there. And the two ways to get books in here, it's got a USB connection or you can use the, the memory cards. That's right. And it does read all kinds of formats. It can read PDFs, RTFs, Word files. So anything you have in a, in a book format, you can read on this. As well, like you have uh, Gutenberg on the web that has all the public domain books. You know, if you have kids or you're an English lit major, uh, you can get all your books for free and just put them on directly through either of those ways. And people can find out more information about this at Sony Style. That's see. right. Great. Brent DeWall from Sony talking about uh, the latest in ebook readers. Tune in to us on Get Connected Radio every Saturday on the Chorus Radio Network.